During our farm basics time today, we'll talk about riparian management. Basically, this riparian management thing is just a simple way of saying we want to make sure that we're not polluting, as farmers, waters of the United States. So whether it's a lake, a river, a stream, anything, riparian management is all about protecting the water. The word riparian is actually a derivative of the Latin word for river. So when we talk riparian management, we're dealing with the area between land and water. So right along streams and rivers, what can we do to influence water moving off the land so when it gets... Yeah, off of our fields. We just want to make sure that anything in our fields stays in our fields or at least doesn't end up in the water. So these riparian areas, they're going to be grass, shrubs, trees, anything that can help prevent stuff moving from the fields down into that water. Well, one of the things that I think about is those great big rains that we get from time to time yep. and how they can just wash a path, a big washout, and move soil and everything right to the river. And you see this great big rut out there that's left behind. And one of the ways to avoid that is to have a grassy area. A lot of times out in fields you'll see grass waterways, but you'd like to have a certain amount of grass before that water could get to the river. Now, a lot of times you'll see warm season grasses being used because they have deeper, more sturdy root systems that seem to hold the soil a little bit better than some of the cool season grasses do. Yeah, and the other thing with this grass, grass sucks out a lot of nitrogen, as does shrubs or trees. They'll take a lot of nitrogen out of this. So the idea is if you've got fertilizer out in the field and it's moving its way down, hopefully it stops at least for a little while in these grassy areas or areas where there are trees, shrubs, whatever, and a lot of those nutrients will get used up by that plant material. Now, there's a lot of common sense things uh, for farmers with riparian management that you say, boy, that sounds like a good idea for me and being a little more environmentally friendly, but there are a lot of side benefits too when you think about wildlife and all the spots that they like to be. I mean, wildlife always like to be somewhere close to water because they need a water source. And when you've got some trees or shrubs and some tall grasses, those kind of things along rivers, it makes for a great natural habitat. Yep, there are other programs too that can help a farmer out with this. The CRP program or anything coming from the Natural Resources Conservation Service. The CRP is the conservation program that you can put as a farmer areas like these riparian areas in and you can actually get some money every year to continue to maintain those. Keep the weeds out of there and make sure that you do have the appropriate amount of trees, shrubs, anything to keep that going so we're not polluting the water. So what I'm saying is as a farmer you don't have to do this for free. You can get help from the government because we all have to work together here and we realize that farmers can't just go out and do thousands and thousands of dollars worth of free work every year. If they get some assistance with that, that's a good thing. And then our waters are going to be cleaner. We keep stuff out of the waters. We have nice drinking water. And you know, after being in some of these foreign countries, Darren and I have been in the last oh, few years, yeah. uh, we can really come to appreciate <laughs> these programs we have in the U.S. And I just don't think as Americans, we understand how bad it is in a lot of the rest of the world. We've got the safest and most abundant food and water supplies in the world, and I'm awfully thankful for that. Well, it doesn't just happen overnight. There's a lot of effort with riparian management, controlling that area between land and water that happens with a lot of farmers and other landowners across our country. Yeah, and a lot of times these areas are at least 66 feet wide, but they might be 100 feet or more. It all depends. And so all we can say to you is if you're looking at one of these areas, make sure you're talking to your NRC people or local conservation people and set up something that's good for your area. And also do a little bit of planning for weed control for weeds like our Weed of the Week. We'll show you how to kill this tough weed later in the show.